Nah, but let me fix the girl. Forever, right, so <laughs> This is what I've been telling you. This is what I've been telling you, right? Just so you just gotta live like life. It's true. And live. to answer your question, brother, like I'm, I'm him. as far as you know, being in a happiness state is what attracts money to you. Let me help you understand on a deeper level. Excuse me, that it's not even about it just being happiness. It's about word. It's about understanding that they say what in the beginning was the word, right? So yep. what is word? Word is sound, right? What is sound? Sound is frequency. What is frequency? Frequency is energy. Mm -hmm. Every single thing is energy. No matter what it is, how it is, even this table we looking at, I'm, the chair I'm sitting on, it's just a molecular structure that has been composed together to create the existence of it. Yeah. But all of us are energetic beings having a human experience. And until we really understand the true power of who we are, why we're here, and the power that we possess to create mm -hmm. the, the reality that, that we, we desire want. just by changing the frequency yeah, that you're vibrating why are you choosing to struggle because at this point yes. it's a choice you know that's right. what i teach yes no, you know and, and i to feel like struggle. i don't people, think you it's, hear that you choose i don't think it's you at choose. Struggle. i don't think it's at this point though you don't have I, to okay i feel like, you i feel like you struggling is always a choice and oh that's the word that's true the beginning of time, whenever anybody's been struggling, it's always been a choice. Yeah, it's yep. You know what I'm saying? Even, even though, even though, so many different, even things. though, but Literally. like, there was right. a time when it, where, where we had the mindset that it wasn't a choice, though. Yeah, struggling was exactly. actually a way of that was, being. That was, that was a way of life. You that was that negative thinking. That's before we had right. trying to. But you got to think in the fifties. You got to think in the forties. Yeah, it was a time where black we people. We wouldn't know. No, hey, but Bradley, there was a time. I see you. But 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 there was a time where struggling was wasn't a choice. Life, like, it was right. a part of life you for your life. demographic. For your demographic, yeah. absolutely. So, it was a choice because there were people at that time still that were successful. So what made it? Your choice to just sit there and be uh, 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 succumb to like. I can tell you the answer to that. That, that is, is genetic. That it's, 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 it's genetic. Generational. It's, it's generational. Right. It's generational. So, it's, so money is actually how you manage money is actually generational. It's as well. generational. You manage money. No the more, way that no you're less. Actually taught, right? So, so no your parents were big savers. Media. Exactly. Your parents were big savers and they were frugal. More than likely, you're going to grow up to be savers and be. And that's it. I mean, parents was big spenders. Then you would probably been a big spender too. <laughs> or either a bad a poor money manager you could be a big spender but not a good money 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 manager you know what i mean right. the key is to understand that your mind is the one that is in control of how you manage the money so when you yeah, when you you have to align yourself with the with the energy of money. So if you're running from it and you're talking about it, or oh, I don't have this and this never works out for me, and uh, as fast as I get the money, it goes out. And uh, and if this is your Looking language, <laughs> what does it take it back to? Word. What is word? We just went through that, right? You get what I'm saying? So it's right there. You know what I mean? It's right there. No matter, I don't care what religion you are, what you study, or whatever the case might be. When it all boils down, down to the source, universal law is the law. It does not matter who you yep. worship, who you bow down to, who you don't worship. The law works whether you are aware of it or whether you're not aware of it. It is an action. So you have to be mindful of your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions when it comes to money because that's the disconnect. Right. Right. That's right. the disconnect. And Tone, you even even uh just early as last week, you just you you had the you accepted that, right? You just said to us last week, what you want you're gonna go get. Right. You know what I mean? And right. that's that's basically what she's saying. Right. Like if you want it, you're gonna go get it. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Sure, that was take it. Saying. Right. Take that's it no exactly shorts. what that I said. That is exactly what, what I said. What he said not is not what I said. Not taking no shorts. That's right. You said that. That's right, sis. You said you're taking no shorts. What I want, I'm gonna get. That's it. That is all what you said last week. And that is exactly what she's talking about. And that's all that it takes is to make a decision. As far as as far as your mind. That's it. Your mindset. That's it. Thought is powerful. 
You know what I mean? Very. What you think? So let it be written. It so let it be, be. done. It, it, that's like, it. That's, that's, that's I would tell it you is. guys. Yeah, one I know. Of, I tell it the most powerful thing. I tell you guys uh, one of the most greatest secrets, and I put it in layman's terms. What you feel, you make real. Mm -hmm. What you feel on the inside of you is what is being manifested on the outside of you. Right. And i give you an example. I use this at my workshops when I do the money mindset workshops. If I have an orange and I squeeze an orange, what's going to come out of that orange? Juice, baby. What kind of juice is going to come out of it? Orange juice. See, even the, <laughs> even the baby know. Orange juice is what's going to come out. So if I squeeze somebody who is full of hatred or full of anger or full of animosity and full of lack and I touch a button on you and you all you know is lack and I go tell you listen I'm about to fly out to Brazil and make 2.5 million dollars you're gonna be in doubt but it, your doubt has nothing to do with my faith Amen. so well, my energy Exactly. You feel me? Exactly. The I take with me if I give it to I you, with me. that's it. Uh, Every person that I speak to, that's it. I'm letting my energy out. That's right. So if I, if I look like I'm in a bad mood, Sorry. I don't even got to say shit or say anything. I Stop. apologize. Sorry, right. Sorry, I don't, even have, to, right. I don't yes. even have to say anything. You feel me? Because that energy is being portrayed in any way that I'm giving it. Yeah. That's you know right. What I'm saying? Like, and that's, that's right. Dope. I think that's the dope part of energy because some people they stand off as for a reason. Right. Because <laughs> you don't need to talk to them. You feel me? Right. And sometimes your standoff is for a reason. Because you don't need to be spoken to. You in your own head. That's and I don't right. think that that's wrong. Like some people be like, yo, you have to you have to um you have to get out your own head. You you, get you out your own way. get out your own way. Yeah. Sometimes get out your own way. you need to be in your own way in order to get, get out, out of your of own way. So that up. you could see that you in your right, own way. Right, right. So that's the key. The key to breaking through any limitation, guys. And I'm talking about not just money, not just money. I'm talking about Anything. relationships, right. family, all of that stuff. The key to breaking through anything is understanding that you have no control over nobody yes. else's feelings right. or emotions. But yourself. That's, That's it. Yourself. And more importantly, <laughs> when you feeling all distorted, destroyed, and all of that stuff, that person don't even know that you're feeling like that. They're paying attention to whatever is going on in their world. Right. And here you are, woe is me, jacking up your vibration, focused on somebody who's not even focused on you. Mm -hmm. So... Mm -hmm. The moment that you come into that that power and recognize how powerful that you are, you no longer become a victim to the game, guys. You got to understand this is a game. We all are part of the game. Either you're going to learn how to play the game or you're going to get played. And that's just the way it is. Mine's up. Play the game or get played. Play the game. Play the game and play it well. And you got to learn how to play the game. If she's teaching you how to play the money game as far as it comes to your credit, I'm teaching you how to play the money game as far as it comes to your mind. In this book, Life. The Power to Profit, I'm teaching you how to change your freaking DNA. Okay? I'm teaching you how to implant a whole nother blueprint for your financial status in your life. Because you had the ability to do that. Just nobody never told you that you could. But guess right. what? I just did. <laughs> so the secret's out. It's out. The secret's out. The secret's out. Yeah. This is your opportunity. And if you don't have this book already, you guys can go to the website. It's www.thepowertoprofit.org. Okay. www.thepowertoprofit.org. Or you could go to my website, takiyadiamondauthor.com, where you can see the whole Minds Up series, where I take you from relationship stuff, I take you into words of wisdom stuff, so that you can just get that. Sometimes you might, might need to open a book, and that one page speaks directly to you. <laughs> yeah, that's that book, and that's called Wisdom Words of Consciousness. Okay. Then I have Seven Things You Need to Change to Change Your Life. Then I have From Poverty to Profit, with me and my girl right here, my love bug. And then I have... Have the power to profit and this is going to break the shackles guys but don't buy this book if you're not ready if you're not ready like to know the truth and you want to stay sleep please do not seven step invest in this sure. book 
Yes. Credit together. Get your credit. Yeah, that's the next. Ooh. Yeah. Get your credit together. I'm down. Well, right, so let's yeah, talk well about, I help. Let's talk about Let's this. dive into that. Okay. Yeah. So, for someone with a not so great credit score, what would be their first first steps into getting to, to the direction of getting their score right to the top? Like, how can we go? Where would we start at? The first step would be pulling your credit, pull your credit report. So okay. We're going to pull your credit report. We're going to see what it looked like. And the next step would be to dispute the negative items off of there. How long would that take? Like, as far as I have, like, for me, I know my credit report. I know my shit ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> and that's only because I just deal in a lot of cash. So, my credit score ain't shit. Okay. All right, so how... My credit score is low. So, so I'm, I'm looking, I'm looking That's another way of saying it. <laughs> he said yeah. it. <laughs> My credit score is low. He's probably okay. right. He's but probably I can right increase it. Yeah. So I just want to know how to score, do that. Change your mindset. Like six, change your percep- like perspective. Like a 680, 690. That's, not, that's, that's not, bad. not bad. That's bad. That's not no, bad. it's not. No, wait. Is that is that your FICO score or is that... Good yeah, question. Oh, is that a bitch? Oh, that's okay. That's a bomb for knowing the difference between the two. You get a bomb, you get a bomb. You teach the terminology? Yes, I do. That's what you want credit card. That's a part of my credit analysis. Word. I'm with you on that. That's what you want credit card to give me. I think that's a vantage score. That's a vantage score. And that's a 3.0. So that's... So that's much a way lower than that. Let me say this on the record. Yeah, clear this up. I hate credit karma. I'm going to say I hate credit karma. They're always wrong. They're never right. They're never right. Never right. Never right. Listen, y'all. Listen. Anything (laughs) free is never going to be right. Right. Okay, I got you. If if you're not paying for something, more than likely they're giving you bullshit. Okay. And I've heard that. So it's not a good start even just to see what's on there. I mean, it's a start just to gauge because it's free. Yeah. That's like like Ancestry.com. I mean, they give you the right wrong. So you take that DNA packet. Oh, God. (laughs) Please don't do that. Don't waste your time with that mess. Right, I've heard that a lot. I've heard that. So, I've heard that so a lot. Are you really gauging people. when you go in and you see a four or something, but then you go and look at your vanity score, you at six? Right. Like, are you really gauging? Right. No, right. Still, so you I, all just disappointed yourself even you know more, then you should you like really be disappointed. Credit. Right. <laughs> the okay. banks give you, like, so, free credit scores, too, sometimes. So let me ask you So you can tell so the, the, the way you can actually get your free credit score right would be... Um, Get free annual, annual report at www.freeannualreport.com. So that's www.freeannualreport.com. That's, 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 that's the most accurate. Okay. All right. Yeah, yes. uh, that's that's the most accurate. And but um, I always say if you're if you're looking to you know purchase a home, right. Big deal is you want to get your FICO score. So you want to try to go to somewhere that's going to, they have um, my FICO, myficoscore.com. Mm-hmm. You want to go to where they're going to actually give you your FICO score because that's what the lenders are going to be looking at when they go to pull your right. credit report when you're going to get to uh, buy a home. Mm-hmm. Now, as far as getting a, a credit card or getting an um, auto loan, they're going to look at your Vantage score. So they're going to look at the same thing that you're looking at, but they're not going to look at credit karma. So, so if you're thinking about going to get a car loan or a credit card, then you would pull something from like Privacy Guard. I use, my favorite is Privacy Guard. Yeah, mine too. Yeah. Um, I use Privacy Guard. I also use Identity Q. Those are Why my do two. you use Privacy Guard? Um, I just like the layout. It's user friendly. Um, and I, I don't even know why I use them because they don't pay me to use them. <laughs> Identity IQ pays me to use them, but I, I I use I still use Privacy Guard because I just like the format. Um, I like it's just user friendly. And it just gives you, it, it breaks down everything quite, uh, but that's not, quite in detail. All right, so that's not who pays you to be a part of the, the, the My, network. They, they don't have a referral program. Me? So like uh, uh, privacy IQ, you said? Identity IQ pays Identity me. IQ? Yeah. So, so what I try to about? break it up. I break it up. Like I send some to Identity IQ. Can you tell us uh, what they're about? I think the Q is the same as, it's a credit monitoring company as well. It does the same thing as privacy, privacy guard, but it's just, I don't like the layout of their credit report. So when I go in to run the credit report to go do my disputing, it's just the privacy guard layout. It just looks so easy. It's easier to match, okay, you know, to see the, the three different bureaus, how they line up against each other. Mm-hmm. Oh, the, um, Identity Q is kind of like spread out. I have to flip pages and do extra stuff just to actually get what to what I'm looking for. So I just like... Is that a diss? I just like... <laughs> <laughs> shot <laughs> shot <laughs> Identity IQ... But um, but I, I just like privacy guard. But I do both. I do both. 
So when you're speaking of credit cards, if someone has a credit card, what do you, what would you suggest or advise, advise uh, for the utilization score? Um, never go over thirty percent. Yeah. Never. Well, as far like as your, your limit, even that's too so much. You have a thirty percent limit. Um, you don't want to go over that one forty, one sixty is thirty yeah. percent. Okay. You don't want to go. I never go over thirty percent. And if you do go over that thirty percent, you just want to make sure you pay it back for the um the due date. All right. So I also heard like um through word of mouth, um sometimes you make let's say you pay uh, you you use fifty dollars on your on your credit card mm -hmm. before the due date is mm -hmm. you make. A twenty five two twenty five dollar payments and that counts as two payments Negative. Mm -hmm. in the joint. Negative. You feel me? Negative. The 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 actual credit card credit company yeah. is only going to report that once a month. Yeah. They gotta pay to report that stuff. Right. They pay, you think they're gonna pay the report that you made a twenty five dollar payment right. a month? Right. No. Right. It's gonna report that once a month and your credit report your credit report updates once a month. Okay. Right. Um, now, I say an update once a month, but, so say if you was to just go run a live report right now, it's going to be updated. It's going to be, like, live accurate. Hmm. But say if you go run tomorrow and run that same credit report, it's going to show you what you've seen today. And that's not going to update to 30 days. So when you run that initial credit report, that's a live credit report. You see everything. So if that means... If the you you went to go get a car apply for a car yesterday you're gonna see that like right now you just ran that but if you did another ran a, apply for another car ran your credit report you're not gonna see that to thirty days because mm. it's about when you run that initial report it's live but your credit your credit report doesn't update until thirty days every thirty days mm. what about um <coughs> excuse me I apologize what about um medical records. On some people's credit, medical records are on each other. Mm -hmm. Some what people's medical records, medical, no, medical, medical bills. bills, medical, medical bills. bills. Oh, that's yeah, that's some that's some that's are on some shit. people's credit re report, Definitely. and some are not. And I've heard that it's illegal for a that medical too. bill to be on your credit report. No. I heard that it's against like you know, HIPAA the laws. HIPAA laws. They can't. Right, I heard it was they HIPAA. Can't put certain um, things on your on your credit card. Right. They can say how much you owe. Yeah, they, they can do that. They can't tell you what you owe that for. So, right. they, they am say, I being okay, so is that hard to collect on that debt if they <laughs> if they can't disclose how like they, if they can only disclose or divulge certain bits and pieces of information? Now, when I talk to creditors, I don't give them all my information anyway because you got to prove to me exactly. that this you is really need that point. Yeah. This. It, you That's say right. I owe you this. Prove uh, me. They proof, to, they got right? The, the the proof of uh, what do they call it? The, the proof of I think of it like like court. They have the proof. They have the burden of proof. That's what. That's what. Oh, they um, have the burden of proof. They have to prove that it's just that. <laughs> within a, within a uh, reasonable doubt. See, that's what a lot of people don't know. Down. With with yeah. with credit reporting, the credit bureaus, the credit agencies, and the collection agencies, they have to be. They have to report everything one hundred percent accurately. And not only 100% accurately, but it has to be 100% verifiably. Mm -hmm. So going back to mm -hmm. um, the medical records, yeah, they can um, collect on a debt that they owe you. So say they can say um, he owes uh, Beth Israel Hospital a thousand dollars, but we can't say what it is. Now, you know, my my job as a credit specialist would be to dispute that debt and find an error in the reporting. Right. So I would try to trick them up, basically. I would mm. try to send them something so they can send me back something that says why it. I was in that oh, hospital. Basically, it's just a I finesse. I want them to send me, yeah, right. it's a basically. finesse thing. I want you to send me back. Now I'm gonna try to, you try to trick me, I'm gonna try to trick you up. Yeah. I'm gonna send you a letter and I want you to send me back something. And, and, and I'm praying that you send me back, hey, this was a test for cancer. Right, right. So as you send, send anything of a diagnosis, Diagnosis code, diagnosis anything on that letter that you send me back, guess what? I got you. Now you got to remove that off my credit report. Thank you. Debt mm. removed. <laughs> Stress test. And once Things a debt is removed nature, from your credit report, right. like, not not trying to finesse nobody, but really and truly, like, you don't have to pay that back. Once it's off yes, your credit do. report. Yes, you do, yeah. No, you really don't. Yes, you do. No, you really don't. Yes, you do. Well, well you don't, but it'll yeah, show yeah, back yeah, up yeah. on your credit report no, it's after a while. No, it won't show back up. No, it's not about the credit report. So just to say, okay, I owed you a thousand dollars, Nia, right? Mm -hmm. I owe your company a thousand dollars, and I reported that to the credit company. And just because I I incorrectly put that on your credit report, 
So it wasn't, it, I, I didn't actually put it on your credit report correctly, mm -hmm. right? And they had to remove it. Does that mean that you still don't owe me the debt? So that got something to do with just the credit report itself. See, that's where a lot of people get it. That's why I tell people we can dispute the debt. Just like keep, even if you, even if you owe the, this is what I tell people. Even if you owe the debt, we can dispute the debt. It gets removed off your credit report. Right. Yeah. Once we never said that report. you don't owe the debt. Well, once you say it's removed off the credit report, they can take. They can sue you. Never said right. you don't and still even, owe that money. They can sue you now. I know, but even in 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 those legal disputes, you can still get around that stuff too. Like, well, I'm like, not a lawyer, so I don't know that. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't know like, that part, and I would never coach a client. I've to, been down to the do rabbit hole of, of debt, and like I've been sued by credit cards and all that stuff. Doing um, what's that? The shopping cart trick and all that stuff. The gain credit and all that other stuff. But at the end of the day, like once it's removed from my credit report, like you gotta still gotta prove that it's you. Basically, they still got exactly. the burden. Exactly, and they I'm still not got the burden of proof. Exactly. So you don't have to give them nothing. <laughs> You don't have to give them nothing. So that's what you're talking about, the burden of truth. Yeah, the burden, the burden of, of proof. Of proof, I apologize. Because they, still have, to, they <laughs> still have to verify that it's you. Right. So if you go to court, you can still be like, okay, this is not on my credit report. I don't never heard of you guys. I've never court, seen like, you. I like, never who verified the, nothing. Right? Right. Right. It's, it's a thousand. It's, you, can be like, you can be like, it's a thousand Mia Edwards in this area. I the heck you know you got the right one. Right. Right. Exactly. Right. I ain't never seen a book like this. Right. Okay. I never even went how, to the doctor. How dare you? <laughs> I'm in perfect health. Did you see? Right. So that's funny. So as far as as credit, with let's say you're a credit specialist. Um, I think she's more than that though. I'm that, yeah. I'm thinking that too. Also, I you know I, I hear her talking, so I know she's some kind of finesser. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just call me a finesser? Yeah. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> so okay, so. All right. Um, a lot of our viewers, they they talking about student student loans. Uh -huh. oh. So as far as with with credit, how can how can you work on getting getting your student loans taken care of with working with a credit specialist? As far as with, um, I know they want you to pay them. I know, I know that. Ain't no getting around. I know. I, 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 I know. So I know. That's the only like, way. That's like, the only way to get over it is to pay I mean, them. But yeah, how? You can get how can you get around them? Like I got. Um, I got. You want to go around the student loans? Correct. They try to be a crook, and they try to get get assignments on how to be a crook. You know what? Right. I want to get around them too. Listen, viewers, they they got a couple student loans, but they they're looking into trying to purchase a home. Mm -hmm. So how can you purchase a, a purchase a home and still purchase purchase a yeah, home and still be in the process of paying back. student loan paying, paying off these student again. loans back That's or whatever question. your whatever your situation is with these students loans? But how can you still purchase a home? Okay, first thing you want to do, I always tell the clients. Um, with purchasing a home and student loans, it's, it's complicated because you're going to come up in the case. They have a system called CAVERS okay. that they check specifically if you own the government. So if you own the government, any money, you're going to come up in that system. Okay. And that's going to automatically block you from um, getting Ain't home. Ain't that a way to describe the CAVERS? Um, but <laughs> CAVERS. That's crazy. Yeah, they call cavers. it CAVERS? That's the, that's the, the acronym. It's C-A-I-V-R-S. So I just call it CAVERS. Well, what is that acronym for? Right. Just another hindrance. Right. Another Distraction. So you yep. can actually come up in that system. But um, the way I tell a lot of um, my clients to get around it is consolidate. Okay. First thing you mm -hmm. want to do is consolidate. Put that all together. Yep. So once you consolidate, you get them all together. Right. So that means they're going to switch it from one company to another company. Right. Oh, that's Guess a good one. That's when the credit specialist comes in. <laughs> that's when I get to do my job because I get to come in and I get to look for errors in the transition Okay. from that account going to that company and that company mm -hmm. most most of the time the account number is going to change right. guess what and most of the time I never the, signed up for that account so number. number my account number change. is this so guess what can I, is it accurate is it verifiable no can I we move I want to ask you a question. This is personally. This is a personal question. This is for He's me. asking for him. This is, <laughs> for me. This, this question right here is for me. All right, so I have a student loan. Yes. And my student loan company, they sold my debt off to another, another company. Yeah, they do. Right. Is, Stay with me. Is, is that, that is, 
I can, perfectly normal. I feel like that's against the law, but that it's is. Not. I mean, I didn't. It's like I didn't go normal. into I. I didn't. Per I got se. like twenty. Can you I don't feel like that? I got like twenty. I don't feel like that's against you, the law. Can you though. dispute that? I, like I didn't you go could dispute into. It. I didn't it's go into like any. Uh, but there's no guarantee that it's going to be removed. Right. You, know? you can, right. You can right. dispute this, anything. But this company, report. this company that they sold my loan off to, I don't have no. You know, I don't have any agreement with them. I never signed anything with them. Now, they just started uh, calling me. Do you know if the ones that's reporting are they? Did they close them out? Is it reporting as closed? The company closed. The whole company. No. 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 That's the company we're talking about on your credit report. Credit, right. Is it reporting as closed? So do you have yes. 20 that yes. are reporting as open? Yes. It's, it's, it's it'd be a lot be that like say closed. That's closed. It'd, be like, <laughs> it'd be like seven <laughs> joints that exactly. say closed. It's exactly. like closed. It's like, what the heck? It well, I can say, so they all, the ones that was transferred was closed. It says account closed, but then I have a, a different collection agency calling me like, hey, look, we took over this, you know what I mean, this debt right here. Not like, yo, so, so now you just know, try to use <laughs> right. so now we just <laughs> the Fed loan service. See, that's the only that's the only thing is that when they buy it, I know. Set up, set up an IBR because especially when I'm gonna tell any any person with a student loan, if you're actually, you know, trying to buy a home, consolidate with Fed loan servicing, um, and then try to get an IBR, which is a um, income income based income based plan or some payment plan something like that so that way um you'll be paying something on your student loans the balance will be dropping so each month that you're paying on student loan even if you're paying 25 dollars your balance is dropping that automatically is going to increase your credit score even if you're increasing it by five points a month five points is a lot when it comes to credit it is. It is. Right. you only get to go 350 to 850 so right. five points a lot so if you're paying 25 dollars on your student loan you got an income based return plan when you go to go get that home loan now it looks like you New know your balances are dropping, and they see that you have that income-based plan, and now they'll, they'll accept you even if you're in cavers because they see that you're paying on it. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, and that's also going to make have your utilization start to drop as well over your overall credit right. balance. So when you have student loans, it is a good idea to set yourself up on an income-based plan because um, even if you're de in deferment, it's, it's reporting at zero. Each but month, you're still interest. But they yeah, it's reported as a zero yeah. each month, and it doesn't really look good to the lenders. Like for some reason, right. they don't like that. I really hasn't gotten to the background why they don't like the deferment whole thing. They really like to see you on a um, income base, uh, income base. I guess, yeah, yeah. They want, they but it, but actually, pay yeah, and it, but it actually helps you all the way around because it's going to build your credit score in the meanwhile while dropping your utilization balance. Right. When your joint goes to collections, sometimes they have like these plans, like where um, you play a. Uh, uh, you pay like maybe let's say thirty five dollars a month um, for six months or for nine and months. And then have to pay them. Never go into when, a, don't never go into a, pay, a payment plan with a collecting agency. It's another speak up, speak up. Don't ever go into a payment plan well, with see, a this, collection agency. All right, so I have a question. So since I brought this up, I'm I'm, I'm going to keep explaining so that you can get a better understanding of what I'm talking about. Um, thirty five dollars a month. At one point, I was doing it for $5 a month for nine months. After the nine months, I had to um, pay maybe $350. My joint goes into whatever it goes into where I don't owe right away. You come out of collection, basically. You know, what I'm, it comes out of collection, basically. Of collection, and basically. then, and then I can apply to go back to school. I can file my file my taxes and get my taxes so you back now. That's why you're here, because I'm about to get. That's why I pay for the lead. We buy the lead, so that it never happens. We get to pay twenty percent. Like it would have been, like, like, been like we never had. Could save you a lot of money, basically, is what she's saying. Pay for the lead, brother. So collection cut. So for guys, collections. When you have collections, don't ever avoid them. Don't avoid the collection companies. You want to stand up to them. Um, you have rights against the collection companies. Right, right. Um, check Definitely. me out. Check out my Facebook page, Rat Financial Services. Um, and you'll see there that I have the list of the things that the collection agencies can and cannot, cannot do. do right. um, so you have rights when it comes to collection agencies. So don't ignore them. Um, actually, you control them. You're right. the boss when it comes That's to right. collection Is agencies. it true that collection They think they, they're the boss when they call you, but actually, yeah, if they you don't pick up, you. If you don't pick up, you don't... You don't know. So, right. no, you know what? <laughs> they call me, that's what I tell them. Do not call me. Send anything, any car responses by mail. Yep. 
That's I what need, you tell I need, them. I need mail. That's how you no get paper. them. Yep. So that way, if they call you again, guess what? So are they now you can sue them for a thousand dollars. Yep, because yeah, I was I just about to say that. that. I got that already. Right. I got that. That's a that's a thousand dollar come up. Make sure that's a thousand dollar come up. You can get your address and stuff. You got to be careful with that too, because that's murky. Like that's when they write it down. Right. Yeah. Like verifying, like, okay, this is where she lives, so I'm going to keep on sending her stuff. But at the same time, you have to say it in a manner. You got to say it. You know, you're going to do not call registry, of course, and then you got to say it in a... You, just, you, know, you don't have to say it in no kind of manner. I can say it nice as hell. Word. Don't call my phone no more. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Right uh -huh. Thank you and have a great day. Boom. And then you call me tomorrow. Guess what? I'm going to see you. Now I'm going to get your information. I'm going to call you say, what's your name? You call from what company? Oh, and I'm going to document the time you called. And guess what? I'm going to contact my consumer rights attorney, and I'm going to get you for a thousand dollars. Check, please. Mm. Hey, look, we about to get into some music right now. Oh, no, 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 no. He's no. <laughs> like, no, this is good. Bump the music, right? Let's talk. Let's talk. We got you. Talk about it. So when you, when regarding student loans, um, most students don't know when you're paying. You're paying mostly into your interest and not the principal. Right. Yes. Right. That's what any Facts. loan card right. Even or credit cards. Yeah. Talk to them. Facts. So uh, my advice is do you explain all that in your when you're yes. doing, Okay. So talk to them. No, That's I'm not talking. No, we no. have a guest. That's what she's like. So expert. when I do, because when, 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 <laughs> right? when, when a client signs up with me, when a client signs up with me, I do a whole credit audit. So mm -hmm. I, I go through everything possible. I go, I explain the advantage and the FICO scores. Mm -hmm. um, I explain, you know, what what needs to be removed. I explain to them what needs to be added. I go into, you know. What could get you actually sued? Because you know, people don't know that during the, the actual um, dispute process, the collectors could try to sue you. At the, That's their, their right. tactic, though. They actually try to sue you, you if you're still in yeah. statute of limitations. Yeah. And, so. and I'm shouting out the worst credit, uh, the worst, <laughs> the worst, the worst, the, the worst collection agency is Midland. Oh, they man. are so hard and they slippery suck. suckers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They, 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 they suckers. Yo, I hate them. I hate them, yo. They call me like because they are one of the They be like, hey, look, bro, you owe us money. I be yeah, like, they they call you ghetto. Pay that, yeah. Leave me alone. Don't call me no more. <laughs> like they're one of the biggest, and the thing is, is that they actually have the funds. To, 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 to pay take lawyers you to, court. to take yeah. right to do that. Like, yeah. That's why I hate them. And slippery suckers. Yeah. You hate <laughs> because them because they doing their job. You know right. No, not all collection agencies that go above right. and beyond to do all of that. Nah, but them Mideast, them fools, they bought the a lot. West. Midwest. Midwest. Yeah. Midwest. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. Cover they the bought, systems. yo, they bought so many accounts, For yo. Real. They bought damn near they everybody. They my nightmare. Yo, everybody in collections, they damn near bought their accounts and they calling everybody. They going. Yeah, I'm not going to be regular. They, they, they want their money. But you they know what like, I told listen, them? I said, when God gave it to me, I got it. I'll and be happy listen, to give it to y'all. He ain't released what, the blessing yet. When he released it, I tell him, I, I, tell him I can't give y'all nothing I ain't got. I don't want no phone calls from y'all. I got a question. I can't um, give you nothing I ain't got. I got a question. <laughs> exactly. Um, at what point um, is bankruptcy smart? <laughs> I was going to ask I was going to ask yeah, some real. other shit that's but real. like that's I just want to know is bankruptcy smart It was smart for me cuz I did it I was I was but I was advised to file for bankruptcy But it varies everybody's situation everybody varies What's the okay. I want to I want to tell everybody to file so for bankruptcy What's the criteria in which you 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 should feel like you should file for bankruptcy and do it Worst <laughs> case best case Worst case best case Um I was just I felt as though I was in over my head and um, I wanted a clean sleep. Right. So I just said, F it. I was going to file a bankruptcy, and I knew I would be, I'm the credit lady, so I'll be able to fix, fix it. Fix it. Right. 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 You know what I'm saying? You're right. So, I, can fix it. I mean, yeah, so if you, I would say if you in over your head, hella debt, I'd say 40000 or more, then do it. But just if, it, if it's just student loans, don't do it because you're not getting rid of those student loans, even really with not. bankruptcy. No way. No, no way. No way. What about bankruptcy, changing your name? Really? You gotta go off. No. You still got your social security. So what you're saying? No, you gotta change the names, but I got it's surprises. 
Oh, so now you're talking about CPS, but that's something different. We gotta go off air. You have to write. Right. <laughs> that's what I just said, like off air. I, <laughs> off air. I covered the mic on the phone, everything. I'm like off air. <laughs> no, I just brought that up because like it kind of came up. Like but that. I know you was asking too, like what's something that's fast that someone can do if they have low right. credit? There is um authorized user account, so you oh, yeah, can add trade lines. Right. So that's I do do that as well. So that's an option for someone to get fast results. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that will shoot your score up fast. Right. At the author, I don't like saying trade lines, so I say authorized user account. <laughs> <laughs> that's smart. Yeah. Like, well, that's dope. That's dope. Do you advise savings? You don't know who's watching. Do you, uh, do you? Well, let me ask this question. Do you, when it comes to savings and checking accounts, do you advise them to go to uh, credit unions or just uh, Good national banks or really black-owned banks? Good mm. question. Start with the black-owned bank if you can. But a lot of us are lazy. We won't even research. Do you have any? Wait, is it, do you is have any for suggestions? Like I'll go there. I'll go there. I'll go there. I'll go there. Black but that is well, a black owned bank, isn't it? What? It's black owned. It's black owned. Um, Bank of America is black owned? No, not no. Bank of America. Oh, I thought that's what I heard. That's my bad. Like, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. I'm slipping on my gripping because I ain't know It's downtown. Because <laughs> I, I was yeah, looking no. for black owned mm -hmm. banks once upon a time. Um, it, it used to be downtown. But then, no, it was a black owned bank. It is. It's, still, it's still down there? City National. I just said it. They just moved, right? Well, I personally, I have a I have a regular, I have a major bank for my personal, well, for personal and I have a credit union for my personal and I have a, um, a major bank. But for business, I would say credit union. Credit, credit union for business. Yeah. So if you have a business, I would say... Um, How easy is to it get, to get in a credit union? Is it as easy as... It's, it's easy. It's especially if you, know, you, know, you, know, you, you got you know money. Somebody. All you got to do is put some money. Exactly. No, but, but no, I'm saying most like credit unions really got to have know friends. Somebody and, world up, especially like, into, right, shout out to Navy Federal Credit Union. I'm still them. trying to get in there. I need to find somebody in the Navy. My man, my man. I used to get fake checks from them. People used to try to get me to bust checks from Navy Federal. They used to send me them fake shits in the mail. Be like, yo, bust this, send me this. But that, oh, no. But they're, they're the bond when it comes to um, giving business loans and yeah. assisting small businesses. Right. They're dope. They're really dope. Okay. So if you can get in Navy Federal Credit Union. Right. Yeah, I, I know. What's the joint right here down the street? Get at On Franklin. Um, where we at? In Bloomfield. We in Bloomfield. It's one right that's, here. That's not affinity. Is that affinity? Nah, it's a, it's a, it's a, um. I have no idea. Providence. It's a military, Providence. It's a military joint. It's the Green Bank, right? With the right. Green. Providence. Exactly. It's Providence. That's, that's a Providence. That's not a credit union. <laughs> They have one though. That's a bank. Oh, it's a bank, oh, but I think they have a credit. Do. I don't know. Do. Don't give me the line. So <laughs> I stick to what I know. Mindset. Five eighty to buy a home. Five eighty credits for FHA. For FHA loan, you only need five eighty. For a conventional loan, six twenty. Right. That's dope. That's fire. That's, and that's because most people are trying to over exceed that to like when you basically trying to when you are getting ready to buy a home, people are like, Oh, I gotta get my credit right, I gotta pay for everything. Yeah. I, gotta, exactly. I need a seven hundred, I need seven of better. That's, they do that for the So nine hundred is the top score, right? What's the top score? Eight fifty. Eight fifty top score. Um, I don't but know. But nobody, I don't even know nobody. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I don't know anyone with an 800. Like my mentor. I, I do. My mentor. I know. He's I, know. I know. Seven, <laughs> Shout out I know to Marcus. Seven, 750 I, is the, the highest I know. I know. With a, a credit score. That means you need a new well, crowd. I know, I know. I know some 750? <laughs> No, you need a new, you need a new click. Yeah, I know I do. some eight hundred. You, you want to know why? No, because I'm, I'm gonna keep, no, I'm gonna keep it one hundred, guys. Like, but most of us, I know some who credit, that's the past. But for those <laughs> people who credit score is still low, right. um, you probably around other people well, who have bad credit. You know what I mean? Yeah. And not only that, not only you're around them, they have bad credit, which means they got poor money they habits. Poor money habits poor all of that stuff. Poor say they don't even save. Referring What's that? What's that to them? Saving. Oh, I can't afford to save because I gotta pay for this. I gotta pay same, for that. That's the same thing but it's your mindset. If you're hanging around non broke motherfuckers, exactly. you won't be the tenth broke yeah. that's, that's Exactly. That's the same thing as right. Yeah, but it just so. takes one person in that group to know information and shed light. To the others, yes, and, 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 and allow it to. I know I get tired of draining me of my nine, information. 
it's up to those other nine to to take heed to that information that that right. one person is, is giving. Right. 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 It's not even for them to take heed. It's for them to take action, action. on what's given yeah. to them. Right. 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 See, that's, where it all about that that's, that's the block. That's the block. What you right. doing, but that's the block. Action to what action I get. Where it all starts. That's what somebody right. told me. If you keep that practicing something over and over and over, you become a what? Uh, um, you become right. a professional. Uh, you become a professional student. <laughs> right. <laughs> It's true. It's true. But you know, if your stuff is still jacked up, it's because you are still around. I'm gonna say um, still around. I'm trying to give you a hint and be nice. You are still around people who got bad habits, right? Like what, as they say, you become like the five people that you hang out with the most so you pretty much pick up their habits and and stuff like that so for me for those of you guys don't make no mistake i still got a lot of people around me with some jacked right. up money habits right. Right. however because i'm now a personal development author and all that stuff and, and touring and teaching people about money mindset and how to become entrepreneurs and all of that stuff i don't want to attract those kind of people no more right. i don't i'm attracting six seven and eight figure women who mm. are out here powerhousing right. so if i'm not powerhousing i gotta ask myself what what is it that's stopping me from powerhousing? And okay. I need to alter my behaviors and habits to theirs. Don't it don't matter what color right you are. Your habits are your habits. Right. Y'all gotta get out of that. Oh well, because I'm black, I'm this. That's BS. There's people of all nationalities struggle. So please stop with the the race card. There's no race card. You are the race card. Your mindset is the race card. What you think is what is becoming for you. And so, get around some people. For instance, like Sh like Shadira, if you know that she's the go-to person for credit, then, then if you got questions, <laughs> why not ask her? Not ask if you for free. If you right, Shadira, right. Your your right. <laughs> and then if you know I'm that you my Instagram followers up, so come on. Exactly. <laughs> right. Right. You know, right. Financial services. Exactly. Right exactly. And then if you know that your mindset is all jacked up. She then was going to send you to me first anyway. She's going to be like, all right, I'm going to be fixing your credit, but I need you to meet with my coach. I need you to meet my coach. You know why? Because I got to show them a lot of the habits that people have, they can't even see that they got these. They don't recognize that. Exactly. They don't see like them. Just, and me, a, a, example, like I didn't even realize how much affirmations can change your life. Yes. You know, even with me, you know, when I started this business, I was a full-time phlebotomist. I was drawing blood. Right. Um, <laughs> Drawing blood, sticking people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Something just came in. I just got tired. I almost went homeless, actually. Wow. Mm -hmm. I was like homeless. I was broke as hell, hungry. And I was like, it got to be another way. And I'm like, looking at my kids, I'm like, yo, y'all looking at me and how I manage money. I, this this, this got to change. And I, I went to go start working on my credit. And I realized and how jacked it was. Okay. And, it, and that's how, you know. God just brought the whole vision together. And so it's just like, you know, that's the whole the whole purpose is just to to build up and get our credits right. Get our get our minds right, get our whole community right, and understand that it's us that's blocking us. Nobody else is us. Nobody. I'll tell you one thing that really, really helped me after my particular bankruptcy, mm -hmm. learning how to budget. Yes. You need a Learn, budget. Stop a bomb on that. Budget is it's important. Definitely not. Yeah, All right. For you. We, we, we need to wrap up now. Tell the people where they can find you at. No. Okay. They can find me on Facebook at um, Rat Financial Services, on Instagram as well. Same Rat Financial Services. You can go to my website, www.ratfinancialservices.com. Um, I do free credits free credit consultation so you can nice, reach nice. me at 866-890-RAPP which is 866-890-7277 get at me and just boss up get your credit score nice. take note she said she do free consultations 
a consultation does not I'm mean service. <laughs> See, I'm just keeping 100 because y'all know I'm the businesswoman all over here and I need to make sure that she my getting mentor, paid. That's right. Mentor, That's coach. right. So a consultation is you got a few questions. <laughs> if you really want to be serviced, then you have to pay her. Right, 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 right. Sorry. Oh, let them know. Let them I'm know. just letting it be 100. So don't be called. You better replay. I'm always throwing stuff out for free. I'm Re a, replay. I'm a you better replay this live and get some tips <laughs> that she gave you if you're looking for free. But I'm saying, about, guys, huh? seriously, like, come on, we got to come up. Guys. There's so many different ways that you can make money. And even if she charged you just $100, how many different ways? ways can you come up with in order for you to make that hundred dollars right, right. i could tell you 10 right now but this show is over so you don't have to go to my <laughs> website to find out thepowertoprofit.org go there I'm, it'll teach you how to get out of debt i have money mindset tools you'll be able to get the book and you'll actually be able to join a seven day mind hack money mindset course that i'm going to do which is actually this is going to be free all right all right free 99 okay <laughs> However, at the end, I will give you an opportunity to actually expand on what I give to you because what I'm going to give to you is going to be general mindset and stuff that you didn't know. However, everybody's situation is different. So why your mind and your money is jacked up the way yours is, is different from why hers was jacked up or why mine's was jacked up. You right. get what I'm saying? Okay. So... You know, let's start looking for some ways to increase your income. And that's what this is about. 2019 is about standing up, Money standing back. in your power, and increasing your income. If, right. if you don't want to do that, then just, I don't know, leave me alone. Ladies, <laughs> tell them where they can find you. Oh, they just did that. Yeah, TakiyaDiamond.com. I mean, TakiyaDiamondAuthor.com, TakiyaDiamond.com, and ThePowerToProfit.org. That's it. Up. Ladies, we thank y'all for tuning in. Yes. For coming, thank you for out coming through. Thank you for coming through. This is a live, live, baby. Thank you. We want you back yeah. again. Boss of course. Credit right. score up. Let's get it. We in here, y'all. We'll see you guys next week, yes. man. Woo! That was dope. Woo! Woo! Credit! What's better than throwing your money away at the strip club on this Friday? You have to pay her. <laughs> I can't even take some pictures. I'm gonna have my cameraman here. I know, right? Bells on me, Who bells on you? Yes, you. Am I supposed to?